Otz, Cristino, Riva, Lorandi, and Pop. Look no further than lane four. Riva wearing the uh, maple leaf on her swimming cap, representing Canada. Riva, who is looking for the treble in the freestyle events at Rio 2016 after being crowned champion in the 50 and 100 free. A silver medalist of four years ago when she was 16 years old. Aurélie Riva of Canada goes in lane four. And it'll be one to watch. She might not be the world record holder. That honor belongs to the 27-year-old in lane five. Laurandi of France, who will touch only third quickest at the opening 50. It's Cristino of Mexico who, in fact, is touched quickest. But Laurandi, the gold medalist of four years ago, who beat Riva in that final, but who is not fancy to go on and uh, claim the title in Rio 2016. But she's got some work to do and will want to prove a point that she is still the swimmer to beat over this distance. They've been swimming similar times this year. Rivera, certainly the favorite. At the moment, though, it is uh, Stephanie Ruby Cristino Zapata of Mexico who is looking very strong at the opening 100. She just missed out on uh, swimming a PB in the 100 free, but she finished eighth overall in the finals, so qualified in the 100 free final. But this is her strongest event by some way. It just missed a medal at the World Championships, the Mexican. Still leading the way, but Riva and Lorandi will be wanting to... Uh, Overtaker, shall we say, in the closing stages. Well, Cristino had a, about a half body length advantage heading into the ball, had a good turn. And it actually looks as though she may be just building a lead just slightly here. The Mexican athlete, as you say, missed out on the medals at the World Championships and does enjoy the 400 metres distance. Her qualifying time for this event was 4.41.54, so a lot quicker than the time swum in heat one of this event. But as you look now across the pool, Rivard is just evening up the ledger and they've turned at the wall in unison, the Canadian and the Mexican. And now, look at that, it was a great turn from Rivard. She got fantastic leverage off the wall and now she's hit the front and has quickened the tempo substantially. It's easy to see just what an effect that's happening because she's gone from being even with Cristino to now having almost a full body length as they head into touch for the 250 metre mark. So Riva leads at the 250 split at 253.73 ahead of Cristino who she beat in the uh, Parapan American Games to the title. 4.33 for Riva on that occasion, a 4.41 for Cristino, who swam a 4.41 again to miss out on that medal placing at the World Championships last year. But Riva ahead of Cristino, and now it's Pap of Hungary who's making a move rather than Lurandi, who's currently fourth overall, the defending champion. She won't mind going from a wider lane come the final, but she would still want to be swimming as quickly as she can in the final, but needs to conserve a little energy in this in this preliminary. Also a longer, smoother stroke. Viva is just showing tremendous power. She actually posted uh, a, a withdrawal from the 100 fly, did uh, Viva. I knew it wasn't her strongest stroke in order to focus on the freestyle events. And a great rivalry that she's continued with Sophie Pasco in recent years on the world stage. Viva. Coming up trumps in the freestyle sprints, but losing out in some of the others, including the IM to the great Sophie Pasco of New Zealand. But Viva fancying her chances here and has taken the second half of the race to every other swimmer in the pool. She touched at the 350 split ahead of Cristino, Pup, and Lorandi, and will bring it home. Just the finishing stretch now, and nothing more. And a comfortable glide for Aurélie Rivard. Makes it look like a training swim. To the wall she goes. She'll touch 
ahead of a vast finishing pop and Cristino touches third fastest the defending champion Duhandi only qualifying fourth fastest with a 445 one three but this is certainly the faster of the two heats and in fact the four top swimmers in this second heat all faster than the winner of the opening heat so there is a very very strong likelihood that the victor will come from the second heat come the final time not that of course the final results depend on results come the heats but a strong swim from Riva. This is where she just decided to make a little move and show Cristino that she is still in, in control of this race. Yes, it was a key moment there. They turned at the same time and came off the wall seemingly at the same pace, but that didn't stay that way for long. And she quickly built an advantage to easily finish the quickest. 